Hello and welcome to the City Council update for June. I'm Wally Weisopel, City Manager. The City Council met on the 13th and the 27th of June. And as always, at a conference meeting ahead of time, they had several discussion items and discussed the Capital Improvement Program. This is the document that budgets for the city the replacement of large pieces of equipment and also the major street reconstruction projects and infrastructure repairs that need to take place in the city within the next five years and it also identifies the revenue sources for those things. The City Council reviewed it and this will be a continuation of the 2023 budget process that began on the 13th. The City Council also had a discussion with regard to on-street vehicle parking and this is a continuation of some concerns that the City Council has been receiving from residents with regard to vehicles being parked in the street. The City Council took in the history behind the parking restrictions in Fridley and also identified some concerns going forward and this item will be discussed again at a future City Council conference meeting. The City Council then heard some information with regard to Lock Park. Now Lock Park is a city-owned parcel of about 100 acres, which is uh, also a part of the um, park system that Anoka County takes care of. And the City Council has been displeased with some of the maintenance and lack of programming taking place within that park over the last 40 years and the City Council was debating what, you know, the future of that joint powers agreement with Anoka County that um, sets forth the maintenance and programs for that park. The City Council will continue that discussion at a future conference meeting. And then the City Council got an update with regard to abatement bonds and how they can, would be used for the City's park improvement program. At the regular legislative city council meetings, the city council took several actions with regard to the upcoming election. The city is responsible for the local elections and they appointed election judges for the city. They also appointed a ballot board which would review any concerns with regard to a particular ballot and then also appointed uh, or designated November 14th as the date for the canvassing of the local elections here in the city of Fridley. That would be a, a city council meeting. The city council also awarded a street project, reconstruction project. This is taking place this summer in the Lakeview neighborhood of Fridley. They offer, authorized $20,730,000 of abatement bonds. These bonds proceeds will be used to refurbish and rehab the city's parks over the next eight years. Work begins this summer. The City Council also established the need for some right-of-way on a street reconstruction project that will take place next year on 53rd. This is the area in front of the Target store. And then they also agreed to a joint powers agreement with the City of Columbia Heights for the reconstruction of that road. 53rd is a border street and the south side is, is governed by the City of Columbia Heights and the north side is governed by the City of Fridley and together the two cities will be reconstructing that street along with some funds from the federal and state government. The City Council also held a public hearing with regard to the recodification this time of Chapter 3 of the administrative sections of the City Code. Uh, the City Council adopted the first reading. We'll have the second reading in July. That's the update for this month of June. I'm Wally Weisopel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in July.